Why else? Why else? Take your time. Abre, but don't you understand what I'm saying? Why are you making so much noise? What is wrong with you? Is he? You're taking this. It's not possible. It's not possible. But it's not possible. It's not possible. It cannot happen here. Why can you say such a thing because of a woman? Eh? Is it because she said she didn't crocodile tears? It is. Oh. Igwe has not said anything wrong here. Oh. He has not said anything wrong. Oh. We just say that the cases are joint in, uh, on the next half of market day. Okay, is there anything wrong with that? Oh. There is nothing wrong with that. Oh. We shall do exactly what the Igwe said, whether you like it or not. Why wouldn't the Igwe conclude the matter today and judge the case? Nzeka, Nzeka, Nzeka. Okay, you see, your problem is short temper and impatience. Do you guys say the next half of market day? Eh, hey, hey. Why not go home and exercise patience? Until do that. By the way, Zeka, why must you talk to our Igwe like this? Eh? If it is this millionaire Igwe, will you talk to them like oh. that? Oh. Tell me, you why again? Oh. Oh. Tell, tell us, take your time. You are taking this matter to another angle. You just want to cause problem with me, Igwe, and myself. Be warned. It's just that it's you have enough. It's, 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 it's enough. Uh, it's enough. Uh, it's enough. Uh, what is wrong with all of you? Huh. Igwe, no. I'm sorry for all this noise. See, I don't know what has come over there. I don't know. Don't worry, Ondo. I am used to them. Hmm? Don't Thank worry. You, uh, woman, nice. you've heard what Igwe said? You go home and come back next half of market day. As simple as that. Next half of market day, you come back here. Yes. That's all. No trouble. Don't mind me. Thank you, Nditch. You go. Thank you, you go. You can go. No, 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 no. We can't go tell you. I'm mad. 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 I'm Monica, eh, Monica, oh, you now have the guts to report me to Igwe and the members of his cabinet, eh? Oh, you are not dragging my late brother's property with me. You are not afraid. Monica, you are not afraid. We are going to see if you, okay. I, are the people that have this particular compound. We know who owns this compound. We'll see. We'll see. Uh-huh. That goes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm surprised at you. I'm very much surprised at you. Not barely two weeks. Your own blood brother died and was buried. You started claiming everything that belongs to him. Instead of you to be pampering me as your own wife. Now he's like, is it fair? Now, you should succeed in claiming all these things. What do you expect me? What do you expect me and your late brother's little kids to do? What do you expect me to do now, Izeka? It is not fair. Okay. You are one of the Igwe's cabinet. Fine. Use your power. Go ahead. Claim everything. Claim everything. Not even women anywhere. Now, Izeka. But I want to show you. Now, there is somebody I see there watching you. He is watching at us. Oh, every one of us, not me, hello. No problem. I'm going to work in now. It's a right one. My arm break. You better go. Stop shedding crocodile tears. Hmm? You still have the guts to speak to me like this. Don't worry. <laughs> Monica, we shall see. We shall see, Monica. Nice. They are talking to me like that. We will see. Mm. We will see. Mm. We shall see, Monica. We shall see. Oh, my God, you are more. There is something I have come to inquire from you. You were at the palace this morning. Where my late younger brother's wife reported me 
Toigwe and the cabinet members. You did not say anything. You did not suggest anything or contribute. Why? Why? <coughs> Zeka, mm -hmm. the reason why I did not talk or say anything is because I was annoyed. Chijendo, yes. you were annoyed. I was annoyed, heavily annoyed. Chijendo, why? How? Hi. How can that foolish woman, the brother's wife, report you to you by his cabinet? Her own little husband's senior brother. She doesn't know that you are like her husband in that family. Look, if I am in your position, and she did that to me, ha ha ha! Anyway, Eh? Muda apa Hey! Oh, I will teach her lessons she will never ever forget in her life. Agenda. Thank you for your understanding. Welcome. No. What do I do next? Okay. Zeka, hmm? you are asking me what you do next. Hey, hey, now tell me what to do next. Have you forgotten that you are one of the greatest cabinet? Have you forgotten? No, I know. I'm a member of the cabinet and you know that too. Hey. Use your position. Well. Yes. Go to Igwe. Talk to him. <laughs> Find certain things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eh? <laughs> you want me to join you? Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so grateful. It's Wonderful. Welcome. This one you came to my house with uh, all this and the good. I hope uh, all is well. All is well. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I brought these things and the good. Mm. Just to come and see you. In fact, I want to thank you mm. for not judging the case between my late brother's wife and I earlier in the day. You see, it has given me ample opportunity to come and see you this night mm -mm. with these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. so, all these things are for me. <coughs> Igwe, as a member of your cabinet, yeah. I need favor. James, <laughs> like I don't understand you. Igwe, mm. <coughs> I brought these things for you so that you can judge this case between my late brother's wife mm. and I in my favor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I greet you. Thank you. Is that what you mean? Um, I've had you. But um, uh, this is between you and me. Yes. All those things that are causing problems, the economic trees, the land. Yes. Who owns them actually? <laughs> um, actually, they belong to my late brother. I'm better, you know now. <laughs> you can come on. <laughs> so you, you 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 want us to <laughs> to bend the law and not to break it. You can come on. I greet you. I like you. you <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so Good. much. Um, I have accepted the gift. Eh? No problem. I will. Um, I will take them. Thank you. You were very good. I promise to do more after everything. I will be going now. No problem. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye Thank bye. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Catch you both. Uh -huh. Um, Obina. Igwe. Obina, take this. You see these things, eh? Uh huh. Take this food. Keep it well. Uh huh. Don't let anything happen to the girl too. Uh huh. Ah, the chance they got.
I've been working since morning. No rest at all. That shows how industrious you are. <laughs> Look up. How many beautiful girls of your class that are in the university that can bring themselves so low to serve people in a place like this? <laughs> oh, stop now, stop. Have you forgotten this is my mother's shop? And the money for my school fees, my handout, everything it comes from this little shop. You see? This is why I swore that I must marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I must marry you. <laughs> You're so humble, so respectful, so understanding. <laughs> oh. I you. I, I must marry you. <laughs> Do you want more food? No, no, I'm not going to. Where did you say your mother went to? Okay, she went yeah, to the one. Yeah, one of you tell her for hundred. How about the supply you told me about? Have you started supplying it? No, I've not. Why? I've been trying to raise money for the supply, but I've not really been successful. Thank you. No, no, Chemi, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Are you saying you just sit down and fold your arms while someone else takes the supply away from you? Anita, but you know the condition of my business. Hmm? But don't worry, I, I have plans to raise money. I cannot afford to lose that contract. I cannot afford to lose that money. You know? You better do. You better do because if you don't, Anyway, I reserve my comments. Hey, why are you talking like this? I said I have plans to raise money. You better do. You better do. Uh -uh. See the way I'm suffering now. How can I be suffering like this when I have someone like you as my fiance? Eh? Has my mother not suffered enough? See me. I even come to sell food here too. You better do something. Anita. Hmm? There's no problem. I've heard you. Yeah, no problem. It's okay. Let me check if the customers need anything. Okay, please get me to speak when you serve them. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure, my son. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Did you say that the supply is worth four million naira? Yes, Papa. And I've tried my best to see whether I can raise the money. Whether there is anybody that can lend me the money. But nobody has accepted to do that. Even my colleagues in the market that I have begged to supply me goods on credit so that I will know whether I can sell it and raise the money. None of them agreed. What they are after is for me to shift the supply to them so that they can do it and give me two percent profit. Two percent. Maybe. Papa, I have only four days to do this contract or I will lose it. Please do something. My son, you know that your father does not have this kind of money that you require to do the business. If I have it, I'll just go in there and give it to you. I am sitting on this throne as the way because it is my inheritance. I inherited it from my father when he died. Just like you are going to sit on this throne when I have joined my ancestors. Papa, I've heard all these things before. Huh? Please, I don't want to lose this contract. Mama. In a clearly make me. Say something now. What do you want me to say? Kay he chok and cool. See the gina yellomakana na this business. Hey. He said that he doesn't have that kind of money. Besides, you know our condition in this family. Mm. Hmm? Anyway, notwithstanding. Uh. 
Let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, go to my bedroom. Bring them my my bag. Oh. But why haven't you contacted your bankers? Bankers? Will they give you anything if you don't have anything in your account? And they'll start asking for collaterals and all that. That is all. They're going to do something. Mm. This one to the one your father gave you. Hmm? Is this one seven thousand naira? Mm -hmm. How are you? <coughs> are these not two bundles of two hundred naira each? That's forty thousand. Yes, forty thousand. That's all I have. I asked for 1.8 million naira for a start to, to do this business, which will give me 1.5 million naira profit. Both of you just gave me 47,000 naira. Can we me again? Manage it. I'm not sure, my son. I don't want to say that I am disappointed in you. I have given you all that I have. It is my prayer that you succeed in business. Because if you succeed, I have succeeded. If I had more money, like I said, in there, I'll give it to you. But I don't have. Huh? See what you can do with that amount of money. That's all we can afford for now. Manage this one. For what? Manage it now. For Guinea. Yeah. Yeah. Honor, cheer. Honor, cheer. My elders, Igwe. Igwe. our wife uh, Monica, Igwe. you are all welcome. Thank you. I know that all of you are aware why we are here today. <laughs> um, before I say anything, does anybody have anything to say? Um. Yes, Igwe. I have something to say. Please speak up. I believe we all are elders, and uh, elders do believe in the truth, unless if anybody does not. But I, Ichie Pius, I believe in the truth, and I must say it. Yes. Igwe, I am from Umude. Ichie Nzeka here is from Umude. Uh, Monica here and her late husband are from Umude. When her late husband was still alive, I used to see them farming in that land. Ezekiah here never complained to me, nor to any member of the kindred. Ezekiah, you never complained to me. And you know me very well. Why this sudden change of yours? Is it because this poor woman here has just lost her husband. Is that the only reason you are bringing this kind of problem in the kingdom? Nzeka. Nzeka. Pius. Igwe. Pius, open them all. Your Highness, uh, my fellow elders, uh, you see all these things uh, which Pius said are nothing but the truth. And uh, how you giddy guy so much believe in truth? You see, I do not know why Nzeka always likes to ferment trouble. 
claiming what he actually knows that does not belong to him. Okay, you keep quiet! Who made you a judge over this matter? By the way, how do you know that those things does not belong to the second of fuel? Ah, keep quiet! You are talking to me. Are you from Umude? Then, and what happened? What happened? If I am not from Umude? Enough of this rubbish! Enough of this rubbish! If you don't keep quiet now, I will order both of you out of this palace. Yes, quiet. Uh, because oh no, I'm so sorry. You better. Um, Ichie, Ichie, Jendo. Ano me? Have you anything further to say? Ah, oh no, we na jado. Yes. What I'm saying is that this woman, Moreta, should go home and rest. Even if those things in question belong to her late husband, she should not forget the fact. That is the career. It's her late husband's elder brother. And as such, whatever that belongs to her late husband also belongs to Zeka. And she has no right to impossible with Zeka as the father of that company. Let me ask you a question. Do. Have you forgotten that Monica here had? Two male children. Uh -huh. Two male children for the husband yes. before he died. Oh no, it's true. But no but. No but. Ah, but ah. don't say anything again. <laughs> Igwe. Mm -hmm. See, this matter has dragged so long. Uh, it's better we call a spade a spade. You can now address us. Yes. Uh, my elders. Before I say anything, I want to show you something. Um Obinda. Thank you. Obida, come. Thank you. Go and uh, bring those things I gave you two nights ago to keep for me. Thank you. Please have some patience. Eh? There is uh, some material here and some money on this side. This goat and this drink, including this one, these are gifts from Ichie Nzeka to me. I want him to tell you people what he told me the day he brought these things to my house. What the hell? Did you speak? Did you have nothing to say? Since he doesn't want to talk, I will tell you why and what he said. It seems like I said that he's aware, that he knows, he accepted that the land and the economic trees belong to his late brother. But he brought this good and these things so that we tilt judgment in his favor. Can you see how wicked some people can get? You are a disappointment. I don't even know why I made you a council member in the first place. I want you to take this widow, your late brother's wife, home and make peace with her. If there's anything she has that you want, Beg her, ask her, she'll give you. Yes. Have I made myself clear? Am I understood? Um, As for you, Chijindo, I want you to be very careful. Very, very careful. When next you come to my palace and you want to cover the truth, you want to play injustice, I want you to be very careful because I'll, next time you do it, I will deal with you squarely. Igwe, my water, my water. Um, Madam Monica. Igwe. Uh, just go home and relax. Hmm? He is not going to give you any more problems. But if he does, come and report to me. I will know how to handle him. Thank you, Igwe. Igwe. Thank you. Igwe. Igwe, got it. I said it. Igwe. Uh -huh. Go away. At the finest places. 
Please, Oga Ben. Please. Give me more time. I, I will make it. More time. I don't have that leisure. See, I've given you enough time. Huh? I've done that already. I have so many persons that can deliver this in less than no time. But I gave you the contract because I know you needed help. And here you are telling me to give you more time. Listen, it, the government is on my neck. If they revoke this contract as they are already threatening to do, my money will go down the drains. I'm not ready for that. Okay, just two more days. If you give me these two days and I don't deliver, take the contract. Listen to you, sir. Please. Just two days. I've already given you eight days you couldn't deliver. So what makes you think you can deliver in two days? Maybe you don't know the amount of money I paid as bribe before getting this contract. Because if you do, probably you'll be serious. You wouldn't be sitting here messing up. Just put ties in some of these buildings and I will deliver this project to the government. And, and I will get my money. If they revoke this contract, my money will go down the drains. And I'm not ready for that. I am not. Yeah, please, just this last time, please. Where's this girl? Mm. How much is your money? Two fifty. Two fifty. You build the one? Yes. No, it's two fifty. Oh. Mm. Fast, fast, fast. Then when you come, eh, you put this money where it should be. Hey, check. What is it? You're not eating your food. Huh? Baby, talk to me. What, what is it? I lost it. You lost what? The supply. You lost the supply? But I thought you said you had plans of getting the money. My plans didn't work out. Please, I need calm water water and I need price. So why didn't you meet your father so he could use his influence and get money from someone for you? I did. But he couldn't do anything. What type of thing is this now? What type of thing is this? Eh? No, no, Che. Are you sure this marriage will work? Why are you talking like that? Is it because I lost the supply? Anita, don't worry. I know that better things will still come. Anita, where are you going? Can't you say I'm busy? I'm busy. Eh? Can't you see? Hurry up. Watch this. We stick them back in the back. Back here. Hurry up. When you finish, you come and take stock of these drinks too. Chief Opajindu, you are welcome to my palace. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. How's everybody? Oh, everybody's fine. We're good. 
Uh, what about uh, my son, Prince Anoche? Oh, Anoche, yes. Um, he came home last week. He has come back to the city. Oh. So, what of your wife? Did she come with you? Unfortunately, she couldn't. Um, very, very busy. Uh, but she sends her regards. Thank you. <laughs> Greet her for me. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yes. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, I came home. Mm. Um, our people say that uh, you do not go past Igwe's palace mm. and not pay obeisance. <laughs> <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Yeah. I have come to say thank you on behalf of the entire kingdom. We are very, very happy with you and the way you are leading us. Thank you very much. May God in his almightiness continue to guard and guide you for us. Amen. Amen. With the support of people like you, we can't do bad at all. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I brought this, uh, this drinks for you. Uh, yes, and all uh, of them for me. <laughs> and uh, this little uh, amount, uh, it, it, it's hundred thousand. Uh, you know, you know, just to manage it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you imagine? You call this one little? <laughs> well, uh, well uh, may the Almighty God replenish your pocket from where this one came from. Yeah, may He continue yeah. to bless you. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you have to excuse me. Yeah. I have to get back into the city. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's no problem. Thank you. Let me see you off. Ah, thank you, Your Highness. Mm. So, send me well to your lovely wife. Okay. I will do. Thank you. To bless thank you. you very much. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll try and get in touch with uh, my son. Yes, yeah, so much here. Yeah. 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 Good morning, sir. Good morning, Monica. Well done. Monica, where are these children? They have gone to school. Ah. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead. Monica, please come. Go inside there and get a chair. I want us to talk. No, you can talk to me while standing because I'm still sweeping. Mm, I know you can stand. But please, bring that chair in here. I want you to sit down while I talk to you. Okay, sir. I called you here so that I can make peace with you. I don't know what came over me. Hmm? I want you to forgive me 
all that I have done to you. Please. It will never happen again. You see, you are like a wife to me. Now that my wife is dead. My brother, your late husband, is also dead. And he left these little kids under your care. Please, Monica. I want us to join hands together and train these little kids. I want us to organize this family. You see, those things we were dragging, they belong to your husband. I want you to take them all. Take them. Even my own. Take. We are one family. Please. I'm sorry. My Isaka. Mm -hmm. Well, I've had you. <coughs> because since all these problems started, I've been wondering what has come over you. A queen's. Eh? I've been wondering. A queen's. Is it in Zeka I know? In Zeka of all people that suddenly changed. Since my husband was alive, we used to stay together, play together as a peaceful family. Yeah. But I know that at times the devil can put one problem or the other into one's family, into a peaceful family, just to disorganize everything. No, no, Dagun. But in nah, in Zeka, I really thank God. God has taken control. And I really thank God for the way you are sounding. Thank you. Nice, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my thank daughter. You, thank you, my dear. Thank you for accepting my apology. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to send to the city so that TK Chuku will come back. I want him to take one of your children to the city. At least train him in school. Nice, mm -hmm. I'm so happy, nice, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Stop talking. Let's you, sir. sit down. Eh? They are my children. They are my children. And they are also Ikejuku's brothers. Exactly. Uh, we are the same thing. There is no need for this battle. Thank you, sir. Uh, one more thing. When you finish sweeping, there is yam inside that place. Let's take one and prepare a breakfast for us to eat. Hmm. Nice, Zeka. Hmm. Hmm. I have um. That wonderful noob which I prepared last night. Hey, hey. Uh, okay. uh, Do well, I bring it just now? But don't worry, just uh, when you finish uh, sweeping. Okay, sir. You bring it for me. Okay. Nice, okay. Thank you, sir. Dialogue Thank you, sir. Hi. 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 Thank you so much. We yeah. had a good treat in there. Uh -huh. And like I said earlier, your house is really fine. The furniture is everything. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Yeah, the house is very lovely. And we actually enjoyed our stay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Anyway, it's, uh, you're free to visit anytime. It's my place. It's like a second place to you. So whenever you feel like, pop in. Thank you. So I'm going to see you girls off now, then um, drive you home and maybe pop in somewhere to pick you a few things. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, see. Uh. <laughs> Monica. Monica. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's like you are just coming back from the market. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. as you can see, I'm just coming okay. back from the market. Yeah, welcome. I've been looking for you. Ah, looking for me? Yes. Is there any problem? Um, no, 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 no. It's just about what happened last time in King's Palace. You see, Zeka is a wicked man. I'm not happy the way he treated you and he's treating you now. I wonder if you don't see the beauty I'm seeing in you. Beautiful woman as you are. I wonder. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Ichi you don't need to bother yourself. Eh? There is no problem again in our family. There is no problem between I and Zeka. 
no problem. We have settled everything. We are now living peacefully in the family. There's no problem. Thank you very much for your concern, sir. Mm. I have to leave because, as you can see, it's lunchtime and my kids must be hungry by now. Mm. So thank you, sir. Ah, Monica, 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 come. Ah. <laughs> come. Zeka is only pretending. He does not like your progress in that family. Huh? Though he bribed me to do what I did in the palace. But I want to tell you, you need a strong chair who will stand by you. Especially now that your husband is late. By how? Uh -uh. Who will always stand by you in this community? Support you, care for you. A strong chair. I don't say that it's me. But if you look at all the chairs, I wonder who is stronger than I am. So, I was only praising God because peace has returned in your family. Indeed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then, man. Now, listen. I heard everything you said. I heard you from there. I heard you very clearly. And let me warn you. Let me warn you. Another day I will see you talking to Monica. I will simply behead you. Oh, that is why you said, do this to her, do that to her, beat her, and you go to her. You want to be the good man, why I will be the wicked man? Julia, why you? My friend, get out. You know you are my man. Monica, you are my man. 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 The next time I see you, you will be my man. Pack your shoes. You hear me, Chi? You hear me? You can say, "Ama." I can't wait for you to run. I can't wait for you to run. You hear me, Chi? You hear me, Chi? Try to be my jadu. You know, try to. You go with me, Chi? Zeka. Hey. Zeka. 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 One of. Zeka may be in business. May be in me here today. Zeka. One of. You but wait for me, just give me a minute while I go reverse the car because of the rain, okay? Okay. Alright. Anita, I don't understand you anymore. Have you accepted to date that guy? No. I'm still thinking. I don't know whether to accept him or not. You're still thinking? And you allowed him to take us out? For God's sake, this guy spent over 50,000 naira on both of us today. It's true I was smiling in there, but. Okay, if tomorrow you decide not to date this guy, what will happen to the money that he's spending on both of us? What did you expect me to do? He said he wanted to take us out now. What about the other guy you've been telling me about? You have even refused to show me this guy. You will not understand. But very soon you will. Me? Me, I won't understand. Anita! Anita! Me, I don't want to eat anything that will boomerang. Mm. Don't worry. Anything that comes from me won't boomerang. <laughs> Let's go.
Yes. Who is that? Anita. Oh, oh Anita. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, oh, see baby. that. <laughs> what happened oh, now? I'm not sure. Sorry. 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 sorry, I was sleeping. Sorry, eh? Yeah. Uh, Welcome. My friend. Oh, who are you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, eh? Yeah. Very nice man. Very nice. I don't have a bad boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my friend. Her name is Okechi. Mm -hmm. She's also my cosmate. She lives in Jos. Hey. Oh, she's a fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? I'm fine. So how are your parents? Well, they were fine when I left them. Huh. Joss. Anyway, they will continue to be fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Amen. 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 You're so funny. Amen. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What do I get for you? Mm. Soft is. Okay. My usual. Mm. My usual. <laughs> 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 Chris to Onoche. See the house. Is this where you want me to come back to when I finish school? Listen, my friend. You know I will not deceive you. All that glitters are no gold. They are not. Onoche might be poor now, but he has good manners. This other guy, what's his name? Chris. He might be rich, but have you asked yourself where he gets his money from? Have you? I... But we heard him talk to his business partners abroad the other day now. Story, do you believe that? Do you know whether he's pretending? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Chris. See his fleet of cars. The house. Hey. Chris is in money. Check. So what do you intend to do now? Dump on OJ or move on with Chris? Is that what you really want? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking. I don't know. You see your life. You see your problem. You're so confused that you don't even know what you want in life. I'm just trying to face reality. I don't know. Don't say I didn't tell you. <sighs> hey. Thank you. I started to get my usual. <laughs> <laughs> my own usual. <laughs> hey, that's my baby. You're washing, eh? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Well, how are you? I'm fine. You? I'm good. What brought you here? I came to see you. Oh, You're welcome. You. How are you? Fine. Okay. And you? I'm fine. Oh, you look fine. Thank you. And you? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, honey, can't you even give me a hug? Can't you see that my hands are wet? It doesn't matter. I don't mind. No, no, Che. I ask you again. What brought you here? Okay, I'm saying it again. I came to see you. Can't, can't you see that I don't want to see anybody? Eh? Anybody? Wait, wait, wait. Are you referring to me as just anybody? Okay, I'm sorry I said that. Just go, please. Wait, Anita, you mean I came all the way from my house to see you? And all I get is for you to turn me back and tell me to go. Oh no, Che, why are you trying to make an issue out of this? Why? Why? 
I'm not in the mood to see any visitor. I don't want to receive any visitor. Can't you just let me be, please? Okay. How about this for you? Drop it. I should drop it on the ground. Drop it on the ground. Anita, what has come over you? Why do you treat her much like that? Uh, Ogechi, please don't start. Please. For God's sake, Anita, if you don't want that guy any longer, tell him and stop messing around with him. Are you crazy? Because of Chris that you met yesterday, that's why you treat Onoche like that. And what if I met Chris just five minutes ago? What if I met him five minutes ago? And so? Please, please, I don't want to trust Suit yourself. Suit yourself. When did this sickness start? Just this afternoon. And since then he has been restless. In that case, I think the best thing we do is take him to the hospital and invite the Prince Onoche to come back home. No. Huh? Why? He warned that no one should take him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. hey. Why must he say such a thing? Oh, Mom, I don't know. Well, if the were warned that he should not be taken to a hospital, who are we to, to say no? That decision is here. Eh? You mean we leave the Igwe here to die? No, James I, I'm, I'm not going to talking about death here. What I'm saying is how do we treat him and get him back to hell? Hey, there are no eh. Um... You changed Zeka. Oh no. And uh, Chijindu. Both of you will go straight to the medical center and bring a medical practitioner, a doctor here. Now, now, now. Proceed. <coughs> hey! I will call the one of you to come back immediately. Okay? Yes, I'll get you the back here immediately. Hello? Oh no. Good evening, sir. Huh? My father is sick. He goes sick. Huh? My God. Okay, I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, but please, sir. Yes, I want you to see what you can do to commence treatment on him until I come. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, oh no. Uh, what do we do now? 
Uh, let's wait a little because I've sent for the son, Oluji. I've sent for him. Shortly. Ah! Mm. Mm. He's here. Ah, that's it, that's it, that's it. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Where is my father? Is he going to Where is he going to Where is he going? Hey, no, come, come, come. Where's my father? Come back. No, no. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. The last good first. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Take things easy, please. You're a man now. A fool man. I am a boy with your name more. You are father. The Igwe has joined his ancestors. Hey! Why you? Why you? Hey! No, Che, why you? Hey! Calm down, no, Che, calm down. Hmm? Why you? Hey! No, Che, calm down. Hey! Take it easy, take it easy. Huh? Take it easy, huh? take it easy. Huh? Calm down. Okay, okay. okay. Take it easy. On the chair. On the chair. Be a man. Hey! My yes. prince. Let's go and see your father. Come and see him. Be a man. Be a prince. Hey! Come. Oh, come here. Good morning. Good morning. Please accept my deepest sympathy. Thank you, Chief. Well, what is the uh, status on your uh, ascendance? Has the date been fixed yet? Not yet, Chief. Chief hmm. uh, <coughs> Ubajindu, as a matter of fact, no date has been fixed yet. Hmm. Um, the reason is um, Onoche here is still unmarried. Uh, and you know, according to our tradition and custom in Ezema, he cannot ascend that throne without a woman accompanying him as Lola. My son, so what is the impediment? Is there anything I can do? Why don't you find a woman to marry? Set a date for your coronation. Let me know. And I will support you to the tune of two million naira. Chief. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chief. Oh, thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Oh, come on, Oh, bad in the. Chief, I am. Oh, bad in the. Chief, I am. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you are most welcome. <laughs> um, Onoche, are you alright? Is there any problem? You don't look bright. Anita, I want us to talk. Um, I, I'll wait for you in the car. Okay, I'm coming. Sorry. Right. Excuse me. As you can see, I'm going out with my friend. Huh? So why don't you come to the shop tomorrow, okay? Come to the shop tomorrow. All right. Honey, who was that guy that came looking for you? Oh, okay, that guy. He's my um, girlfriend's elder brother. He usually comes like that to complain, you know. She did this, she did that. Me, I'm even tired of their complaints. <laughs> what does a sister do? 
tells the sister is saucy. Ah, she did this, she did that, she did ah. <laughs> but why would the sister be saucy to him? What's the I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. That's why I had to dismiss him like that too, because if not, hey, did this, did that, did this. <laughs> I noticed anyway. Yeah. I noticed. So now, where are we headed? You tell me. Yeah. All right. No, I don't get it. You mean you can stand boldly? in front of me to tell me that that guy is your boyfriend. Onache, you know me better than that. I'm a very sincere person. Why would I lie to you? Um, anyway, where have you been? Do you care to know? Okay. My father is dead and buried. Igwe is dead and buried. Your father is dead? Yes. You didn't call me, you didn't, you didn't tell me anything? No, why would I? No, why should I? After all you did to me the last time I came to school to visit you. Um, anyway, Anita, I want us to put an end to all these things. I don't understand. End to which things? Um, despite all you have done in the past, I still love you. I want us to get married. The elders of the Igwein Council have told me that I must get married before I can be crowned the king. And Anita, you are just the only lady that I love. Please, it will be my honor to make you the Lolo, the queen of Eziama Kingdom. And, and, and one chief, Ubajindo, has promised to give me two million naira for the whole expenses. So we don't have anything to worry. I am not interested. No, don't tell me you're doing all these things because of that small boy who is a nobody in the society. And I prefer to marry that small boy who is a nobody in the society than marry a poor, wretched, dying Igwe. Anita, are you not tired of insulting me? What kind of insult is this? No, why did you accept this relationship if you knew you were not going to marry me? Because you said you were a prince. Yes. And all the simplicity and everything, I just thought it was pretense. Maybe to find out if I actually did love you. But you know what I discovered at the end of the day? You are even more wretched than I thought. Anita, are you sure you know what you're doing? You should be asking yourself that. Have you listened to yourself at all? Have you? Someone promised to give you two million naira for you to get married and after that crown you Igwe. Then when you're done, we'll go home and eat sun, eh? He should give you that money for you to put it into your business and progress just like young men in the society are. Oh, oh, I see. They want to tie you down in the village, eh? In the name of Igwe. They want to tie you down. <laughs> Count me out. I'll marry you. <laughs> Do you mean it or you just some of whom I like? I'll marry you. Just on one condition. Which condition? Just say it. Say Give up the throne. Give up the throne? My birthright? How do you mean? I mean sell off the throne. Sell it to someone who needs it. Then use the money and get a better life for yourself. And if I don't? Then, forget about me and forget about marriage. No, I cannot. <laughs> no, I cannot. Anita, I cannot do that.
Onoche, there's nothing you're going to tell me that will convince me to marry you. Except you do what I asked you to do. But what you're asking from me is impossible. How can I sell my birthright that my father left for me? What will people say? Then leave me alone. Leave me alone. But you know I love you. Oh no, Jen, I love you too. But this is not an issue of love. Let us face reality. Your family is in darkness of wealth. My family is also in darkness of wealth. Darkness cannot lead darkness. Okay, see, after everything that my mom has done to train me in school, right from my primary one <coughs> until my final year now in the university, I'll now come back, marry you, and continue in darkness again. Continue in suffering. Eh? Look at it now. What will be her own benefit for sending me to school? What? I've seen that your mind is made up. No problem. I wish you well. Oh no, thank you for the caller. Um, I'm here for something very important. As the Ono of Eziama Kingdom, you were the closest person to my late father. Yes. And that was because your father was a very, very good man. You see, he was a good leader. And he led us very well. I hope you emulate him. Oh no. What if I say I am not interested in being the Igwe? What will happen? No, 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 don't say that. Don't say that, don't say that. How can you say something? Oh no, I'm serious. Because hmm? I am not interested. I am not interested. Hey! Blog no man. Blog no man. How can you say such things? Oh no. I've given a second thought to this issue. Uh, and I have come to the conclusion that it will be better for us to give this throne to a man that can handle it. Oh no, look at it now. My father died wretched in this community in the name of being the Igwe. And people want to tie me down. Again. In the name of being the Igwe. When all my mates are doing well in business. This is programming me to die wretched also. God forbid. Oh no. I want to be useful to myself. And what do you intend to do? Uh, oh no. I want to meet Chief Ubajindo. And give him the throne so that he will pay me off. What of if he says no? If he refuses? <laughs> oh no. There is no rich man in his right senses that will refuse such an offer. Now, listen to me, young man. Whatever is your plan on this, count me out. Count me out. You on your own? Oh no, what you gonna do now? No, no. Hey! Abomination! Where in the history of Ezeama community has such a thing happened before? Are you out of your senses? Eh? Ichi and Zeka. Why are you shouting at me? Hmm? The throne in question belongs to me. And I said I want to sell it. What is it? Wrong! Young man, I say you are wrong. Eh? The throne belongs to the entire Eziama kingdom. Only that it is hereditary in Ezume's family. According to our tradition and custom, your forefathers inherited and maintained it till now. So you just cannot wake up one morning and sell it off to another family. No. 
That's the table. Oh. It's you, Inzaka. You have said it all. You said that my great grandfathers inherited it from their fathers and they passed it on to my father. And I inherited it. Yes. Yeah. When it was their turn, they handled it the way they wanted. Now that it is my turn, I want to handle it the way I want. That's all. I want to hear you do it. Very straightforward. Prince Onochi. Prince Onochi. Do, 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 Biko. Please. Don't do anything that is going to bring calamity in Ezeama kingdom. Please. I've said my own, no. I come out of here. You know, Sisi, you Princes are made. But kings are born. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> sorry, sorry, babe. I... I love you, baby. I love you too. Um, it's... <sighs> Honey. You marry me. Yes. <coughs> yes. <sighs> That's my girl. That's my baby. Thank you very much. Let me have your finger. Thank you. Wow. Oh, thank you. Wow, I'm so happy. Come, come. So that we put our heads together. You've heard what Eonoche said. So what do you think? Um lying at Angwa Git here, Chichindo. In the bany na Eziama. Eziama. Sinaiha Banaka. Ejiro or Gobenya. Eh? If we will support each year, uh 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 to hand over the throne to Obajindo. Eh? And we become his each years. Our life will change for better. <laughs> so in other words, you support him. <laughs> well, I am on your side. I shall support him too. So let's go and finish this discussion with you. <laughs> so go ahead and do whatever that is right for the benefit of our people. <laughs> I want you to be assured that we are solidly behind you. In fact, as a matter of fact, we are going to help you to talk to other elders. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nichi. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Anoche, 
How do you mean you want to sell me the throne? We are in the history of uh, Eziama as that ever happened. Look, I, I thought you had come to tell me that you had picked a date for your traditional and white wedding so that I can release the money that I promised you and then begin to plan for your coronation as a Igwe of Eziama Kingdom. Chief, you won't understand. I am far too young to come back to this village and tie myself down in the name of Igwe while all my mates are doing well in their businesses. You're capable of being the Igwe. You're rich. And you've come of age. There's no place that you will stand and talk that people will not listen and respect you. Look at all the communities. All their Igwe's are rich. Why can't our own Igwe be rich? In fact, I'm already seeing the Igwe in you. Just look at this. His royal majesty, Igwe Romanus Obagendo of Eziama Kingdom. Mm. You can beat it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Onoche, I'll think about it. Thank you very much, Chief. Okay, um, I'll see you in three days' time. Okay. You see, we came for a very important issue. After that, we can still go for cola. For the, okay, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I feel good. I feel good. Um, what is the matter? <clears throat> uh, Chief, I am sure you recognize this young man here. Of course. He's a, a prince. Oh, no, Chief. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Our Igwe to be. You see, Chief, you are right. There's something he told us, and uh, he said that uh, he has discussed with you. And uh, you ask him to go, that you will think about it. Yes. Uh, to tell you the fact, Chief, we, the cabinet members, uh, we are in fully support of that idea. So you have nothing to fear about. You have to go ahead, because uh, we are solidly behind him. You mean that uh, you are all aware of it? Oh yes, yes, uh, you are aware of that. We'll be very happy if you grant his request. Indeed, Jay. I have heard you. Thank you, Chief. Now let's see what I'm refreshed with. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, what is it? Don't look happy. Talk to me, talk to me. Dr. Francis, you're quite right. Something is bothering me. What is it? What is it? You remember, I told you uh, a while back that we lost our Igwe here. He joined uh, his ancestors. And that the next Igwe is his uh, son, Prince Anoche. And that I have um, volunteered to um, be responsible for the cost of the coronation. Yes, vividly. I remember you mentioned it, Chief. Well, a few days ago, I've, the same young man came. 
to offer me the throne. Jesus Christ! It's not funny. Igwe! I have not accepted the offer yet. Then what are you waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? So many rich men in the society are looking for an opportunity like this and they can't have it. See, when a man has gotten money, Chief, the next thing is power. And with that position as the Iwe, you can have the power. And with the power, you can enter anywhere. The governor's office, the president's office, just name it. Not just that, Chief, you can go for government contracts and have them. Because you are not recognizing the society. I mean, it's only going to find a memo. This is what you say I should do. Call him immediately and settle him. Collect the Ewet ship. Please. I think you should accept the offer. It's a good idea. Since the elders in council and your friend, Dr. Francis, they are in support of you. You should take it too. Because me, I can't wait to be the Lolo of Izama Kingdom. <laughs> Pico, we take it. Oh, women. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey now. What if I decide I don't want it? No, Chief. You will like it, oh. You will want it. Ha. Huh. Me, Mrs. Chidema Obajendo. The wife of His Royal Majesty, Igwe Romanos Obajendo. It's a great honor. <laughs> Don't say such a thing, you will like it. <laughs> hey, now, think oh, about it, you will like it. Oh, women. Women. <laughs> 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 cheers. I sent for you concerning the things you've been talking about. You see, I have been giving it very serious thought. And um, I'd like to know um, how much are we really talking about? Well, um, Chief, I want to first of all thank you for accepting my offer. That means that you have my interest at heart. Well, the money is not much. Just give me 20 million there. Hi! I'm not yet 20. That's a lot of money. Uh, let, 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 let us say uh, 10 million naira. Chief, for your information, many rich men in this community have been approaching me for the same issue since they realized that I want to sell the truck. But why I made a choice of you is because you're a kind man because of the promise you made to me before I changed my mind. First. Otherwise, I would have sold this all the time. All right, all right. Um, why don't you come and collect your money in three days' time? Uh, thank you, Chief. Sorry. Thank you. 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 Prince Onoche. Oh no. My greetings. I call this meeting specifically to ask Onuche in the presence of everybody if it is true that he has negotiated with Bajendo to sell the throne of Ezama Kingdom. Despite my warnings. Prince Anuchi, this question is for you to answer. Answer us. 
Am I deaf? I know now. I'm not deaf. Wazano? Yes. The throne is mine. And I have every right to give it to whomever I have chosen. Hey. Eh? Lola. Are you aware of that? Yes. You are aware? I warned him not to do that. But he wouldn't listen. <coughs> what else will I do? Uh, but, uh, oh no, this is not enough reason to bring us together. Uh, I have a lot of things doing. Let's get this matter straight. According to the tradition and customs of his kingdom, the true impression is almost his inheritance. And he has every right to hand it over to whomever he wants. Cha! Chijin Cha! 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 Chijin, why is it that every time we discuss important issues in this kingdom, you will never contribute positively? What is wrong with you? Eh, Chijin, what and is what is wrong with what he said? Everything is wrong with Zeka, I'm asking you, what is wrong with what he said? Oh. Ask him. Hey. Oh, Paris, you are his back man, eh? You are supporting him. I see. Birds of the same feathers. If you like. Call it vultures of the same feathers. I don't care. All I'm saying is that Onoche here has the right to do whatever he like with the throne of Eziama Kingdom. That is his own right. That right. I don't care with whatever any of you are saying, but for me, Ichi Pius, I am in support of him. Let him carry go. We are in support of him. I am also standing by Omoche day and night. Yeah. And you people are keeping quiet, eh? Chevrus, I will never support him for. Odriga. Odriga, you are kidding. What? Everyone. Jessica. Are you supporting them too? What do you want to hear from me? Are you supporting you heard him from the horse's mouth? And you are still asking the probing question. Yeah. I see a conspiracy here. Yeah. I see conspiracy here. Gwezu, mezu. Oh no. I think the best thing is for you to go to Chief Ubajendo and talk sense into his, into his coconut. Talk sense into him. I think that's the best thing to be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope there's no problem. It has come to my knowledge that you want to transfer the birthright of Ezumezu family to Chief Obajindo's family for money. <laughs> now let me tell you. The gods of this land and our forefathers he sold the ego ship here and nobody, I repeat, nobody has the power or authority to take it away from here. Not even I, the chief priest of Ezeama Kingdom. Onoshie, Oyana Wibi, Onye Tafo, Onwele Hode Rebende Mo. But chief priest, Bet right, bet right, bet right. Huh? Is it not my bet right? Does it concern anybody? On a ship, be warned. On a ship. How many times have I called? Mama. Hey! Hey! On a book one, I'll go on to Mono. A book we see, and Auntie Yana. Anache, yes, Chief. Uh, this is your check for 
This is for you. <laughs> this is for you. <gasps> Igwe! <laughs> wow. Chief, Chief! Igwe! Igwe! Yes, you're for our own. I have picked the next two Afro market days um, for my coronation as Igwe of Asia Market. Hey! Oh my god! Hey, let's go. Hey, we are ready. Yes. Oh no. Where were you when some cabinet members came to my house with Onoche begging, begging me to to, to to accept his offer to sell me the throne, and I said no. But because I have changed my mind, even settled Onoche. Right now you come and you say that I should withdraw. I am sorry, it is too late. It is not too late, Chief Obajind. It is not too late. You are not a stranger in this community, nor in the land. Eh? Now let me ask you one question. Where in the history of Ezeama Kingdom or in Ibo land? Is the worship or the, the throne for say? Where? Did you make any effort to contact other elders? Ask them questions before you accept the offer. You have not. And I suggest that you make the contact before it is too late for you to regret. Oh no. Of what relevance will this be? Uh -huh. I don't want you to soil your hands and attract the anger of the gods on yourself. That's all. It is never done in the history of Ezeama Kingdom. Never. And you are warned. You are warned. Oh no, in two or four market days, you oh no, who will crown me the Igwe of Asia, my kingdom. That is all you have to do. Let the other things take care of themselves. You may leave. Chief, are you sure of what you want to do? Hi, baby. <laughs> when did you come? Oh, God, you look so good. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> hey, yeah, when did you come? Well, not long. Um, yeah, but can I see you privately? There's no problem. No, no, no. no problem. Okay, come on, let's go. Uh, uh, would you make sure you calculate the money properly? I don't even know what words to use in describing you. How could I have forgotten? How could I have forgotten? I don't know, I need to stop that. Stop what? Are you not being good? Stop that. Meanwhile, so how is Lola? Anita, stop that. You've not changed your funny character a bit. You know, I want you to. Come to the house tomorrow. There's something very important I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I actually wanted to come to your house too tomorrow. Uh, then it's good. I'm here. Okay. So it's tomorrow good. then. Uh, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, stop that. Stop that. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm so happy now. You know, uh, now I know that money gives strength. And money answered all things. Uh, but you know, without your idea, I wouldn't have been able to clean up 20 million naira just like that. Mm? Thank you. And the first thing we're going to do is to see your parents immediately and conduct the introduction. 
and after the marriage after the wedding i am going to organize a very powerful boutique for you and then concentrate on the importations how is that baby you're crying what's the problem no, why did you do this to me what did i do why didn't you tell me you were going to go ahead and do what i asked you to do baby i didn't know i was going to do it until i gave it a second thought and when my mind was made up I sold the drone to Chifubajinda for 20 million naira. Please, I'm sorry. But is that why you're crying? Don't worry. I'm here for you now. So, clean up, babe. It is too late. How do you mean? You say the only option for you to marry me is to sell this throne. And that's just what I've done. So, what's the problem again? Actually, after how long? After how long? Yes. That's my card. For my traditional marriage to Greece. You left that day. The condition that you weren't going to do what I asked you to do. So I had no other option. To marry Grace. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're a man, a real man. That is, if you spend the money wisely. Anita, why? Why? Anita, you have to call off this marriage and marry me. I love you. you I can't. I can't. have dreamt of this. I can't. I can't, please. I pray that you find a good wife. I wish you well in your business and everything. I'm sorry. Amen. Anita. I wish you happy married life. And thank you for your golden idea. I will always be grateful. Once again, I say welcome. Amen. Yeah. Today is a very happy day. This is our first sitting since I became the Igwe of this kingdom. Igwe, well, that is true. And I hope we are going to continue to meet. Oh. <laughs> From today, henceforth, this kingdom has entered into what I describe as brightness. <laughs> I, Igwe Romanos Obachindu, the Igweneku one of Eziama Kingdom, <laughs> that I shall renovate all public places, town halls, hospitals, schools, churches, and um, three ball holes will be dug around this kingdom and more importantly five of the children of this kingdom shall be given scholarships every year in fact worldwide <laughs> Only for you for two. One more thing. 
I am going to send uh, a tailor to your homes to measure you uh, because uh, he's going to show you at least three ceremonial dresses. Oh, oh, oh God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jaga. Okome. Jaga. Jaga. Ozu. <laughs> oh, there is more to come. Oh, yes. I am going to give each and every one of you here money. Money to buy yourselves some goodies, you and your family. <laughs> Well, once again, you are welcome. Your Majesty. Um, it's, so, it's so nice to see you. Um, this is the first time since I, I was crowned um, the Igwe of this kingdom that we are going to meet. Well, as you know, this is added responsibility. Community work is something that I have always believed in. You know, and uh, I've been trying my best in my own private position. Now I have been made the number one citizen in the kingdom, and I want to make sure I contribute my widow's might. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> To be able to do this effectively, I will not be able to run the company effectively. So I have decided to make some changes. Um, <clears throat> First of all, Mr. Johnson, um, since you joined the company, we have been very happy. With. <laughs> Thank yes. you, sir. I'd like to congratulate you. You have you are now the managing director. Huh? Your Majesty, I thank you very much. I promise you that I will make sure that this business empire will grow larger and larger and larger. <laughs> thank you, sir. Um. Now we have a. Uh, Nemeka yes, is now being promoted to the position of marketing director. Thank you, While the current marketing manager shall proceed on a three year course to Harvard Business School. Okay, Ngozi, you are, you are the PA to the managing director. You have now been promoted to company. Secretary. Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. No, we never regretted having you in the family. Thank you, sir. Well done. You deserve it. Keep it up. Now, you will have to um, advertise for a new secretary of your own. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Um, look for somebody who can be a personal PA as well. And a, we, we have a lot of people who are very well educated now who will play that role well. I will do that. I live with you. I know you will have it well. <laughs> Your Majesty. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this town is turning into. Oh no, she. It's an animal. Just imagine, he sold his bad wife because of money. Money! I could want it. Eh? And I know that wherever his father, the lady where is, he will never be happy with him. <laughs> He's a fool. Look, Ichi and Zeka, what is annoying me most 
is our elders who have sold their conscience to support Chief Obajendo. They have even gone ahead to become his cabinet members. I learned that he's now showering them with money. Which money? Oh, yeah, man. Listen. Listen to me and listen carefully. Let them continue to eat his money. But I promise you, one day, just one day, they will me the money. Mm. Ah. Is that what, am I not seeing you? Where is he going to? He's going to my house. To your house? Yes. At this point in time. I don't know why, until he comes. Chief, <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> how are you? Uh, you're welcome. Okay. Chio, chio. <laughs> I was just coming from your house and I met nobody. Coming from my house? Yes. Why are you looking for me? Am I owing you? Uh -uh. Chio, why are you sounding like this? Are we quarreling? The church is in there. Even though quarrel or not quarrel. Say what you want to say. Tell us what you have come here to tell us. And leave this place. You know we are discussing. You can't you see? Uh, We've been holding an important discussion here. <laughs> I know there was a seat in this house. So let me get sit. Join us, little chen. Hey. <coughs> anyway. The Yigwe said I should come and call two of you. <laughs> what for? I wouldn't know, uh, but he kept on, you know, asking why both of you don't attend the cabinet meeting since he was thrown and crowned the Yigwe. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> but they have told us the reason why the Yigwe wants to see us. You see, we have now turned to Chief Ubajindo's errand boy, his mayor runner. This is simply because he has bought you a new dress <laughs> and bought you a new red cap. <laughs> yes, giving you some money for drinks. <laughs> and you are now busy going about the whole place, places, convincing everybody. Huh? Look at him, not minding the laws and the customs of this land. Look, two of us. I did not come here to listen to this rubbish you are vomiting. Tell me what I will tell you and let me grab from here. Chijende. A trojan Zeka, you know you're my man. Forget your orgy. Is it what you are drinking? Clean yourself! Go to Igwe's palace. You drink wine, eat chicken, salad, every good thing. You change your life. Why now? Go and tell him that you have seen us. Zeka, you are still my man. Come to Igwe's palace and enjoy life. Leave to you. <laughs> but you, you see, if you still change your mind, of course, you will still accommodate you. Come to Igwe's palace and enjoy life. Come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 you standing? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I know, we're okay like this. Why? We don't want to sit down. Uh, I, um, I, I see. Um, get them something to drink. No, don't bother yourself. We don't want to drink or eat anything. Just tell us why you sent Chijendo to call us to this place. Indeed, Che. Why are you sounding as if we're quarreling? Chief Ubajindo, tell us why you have called us into this place. Or... Otherwise, Odawog, we are busy at our various homes, save our time. Point of correction, His Majesty. Mm. Anyway, since you have uh, refused to eat or drink or sit down, well, I'll tell you 
The reason why I have asked you to come is to find out from you the reason why you have not attended any cabinet meeting since I was crowned the Igwe of this kingdom. As far as I am concerned, we don't have a king in the Zema kingdom. The only king I know that we be is Onochi. So whatever your plans with some of Ndiche and Onochi is, it's none of my business. So that nobody will inform me or call my name or my family when the calamity that will be upon this kingdom will come. And for your information, Chief Obajundo, the elders and the people of this community do not like you. Even the chief priest, Chief Obajundo, in your own interest, dismantle all these artifacts and send these boys from wherever you pick them. Let it be clear to you that the will of this community is not for sale. Go and look for Onochi and take your money back from him. And I'm Listen very attentively, let me tell you, for the final time. What you and some of Ndichi are doing is abominable. The laws and the customs of this land forbid them. Well, get out. I'm quiet. I say get out. Mr. Fred, I am your anger. Get out. It is the eyes of ten youth that fear Get out. We shall see. Let's. We shall see. What do you know? We shall see. Onoche, welcome. Look at you. You're looking so good. How are you? I'm blessed. Um, I hope you didn't have any difficulties locating here. No, no, no. Your descriptions were very apt. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Um, honey, do you remember him? <sighs> Not quite really. I've been trying to... Yeah. The guy I told you was my girlfriend's brother. You saw him in my house in school. I'm so sorry, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Thank you. <laughs> How is everything? I'm blessed. Everything is fine. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's go inside so I could at least offer uh, yes. you some. 